is up welcome back to my channel welcome to a new little semester prep reset whatever you want to call it i'm so excited i have been waiting for my syllabi to be posted so i could film this video i'm so excited i'm also trying to channel fall but it's hot out so i'm in like a cute fall blouse and then also jean shorts but your girl's on her second coffee i'm like full of energy today's gonna be a little bit of a chaotic day though because i'm filming this now i'm starting the vlog I just got email confirmation that my iMac is out for delivery. So I'm going to film, edit, and upload that video and then continue this one on. Which is just the life of someone who's trying to be a full-time YouTuber, part-time corporate galley, and part-time grad school student. She's just chaotic. What can expect from today's video? We're going to do like a little desk slash office cleanup, get organized, a little school supply haul. Um, we're going to like download my syllabi and we're going to like fill in my planner, update my Google calendar, and then I'll show you guys kind of like my grad school notion tour. So I'm really, really excited. And a little bit about me, if you guys are new here. Hi, hello. My name's Carter. Obviously I'm 25. I graduated from the university of Ottawa in 2020 with a degree in psychology and gerontology. I'm a COVID grad, so I never got a real graduation. It's fine. I'm not salty about it. And I am pursuing a grad school diploma or grad school certificate in healthcare management from Toronto Metropolitan University, aka the old Ryerson University. So super excited about that. I'm not in a master's program. But basically how I can explain it best is I am getting a graduate school certificate. So basically they're all grad school level courses that would be what you would take if you were getting your master's in this field um, but I'm only taking eight uh, seven or eight classes to graduate and it's a part-time program you can do it I mean you could do it full-time that's the really great thing that I love about TMU I gotta get used to saying that and not Ryerson is that a lot of their continuing education grad school education um, is done at your own pace which I love so basically they're like these are the classes you need to graduate take them whenever you want however long you want like you do you and then like let us know when you're done. So basically, you can take summer school or not take summer school. You could take a fall class. You could take a winter class. You can literally do things whenever you want. And I love that just because I'm so busy already. So honestly, it just works out for me. I have a feeling I'm getting a zip. I can like see it trying to pop through here and I'm not vibing with it. So anyways, that's kind of a little bit about me and my grad school journey so far. I'm in my second semester and I should be graduating in spring or summer of 2023. Welcome to the vlog. Your girl probably doesn't need more caffeine, but here we are are and i'm so excited so i wanted to intro this little video off and i'm gonna go real quick film my imac unboxing do all that stuff and i'll come back and then we will get started on getting ready for a new semester i'm so excited let's do it so here's just like a little haul of some of the things that i picked up for school like i said i just didn't really need much but I've been eyeing this for so long it was on clearance at walmart i'm really excited about it just to like jot down things and look it's like they knew that I was getting my new computer. So really excited about that. We'll unbox that in a second. Here's the things that I got. Um, I'll show you guys like my favorite pens and stuff that I use after, but I didn't need any new ones. Um, not really even for school, but Sharpies were on the back to school sale and we always need Sharpies around the house. So I got two of those. These are new. They kind of remind me of mild liners, Sharpie creative markers, although they look more like a highlighter, but we'll open them after and we'll see. I'm a sucker for clearly anything like pastel highlightery and then I got these post-its which are just beautiful I don't love the black ones because I don't know what I'd write on them with but I loved the pastel of the other colors so I got those just to scribble things and then I just instead of getting like a binder I just picked up one of these little guys I thought the design was super cute they had a bunch of really cute ones for like when I'm on the go when I go to like work at a coffee shop or like um, if I go to like Uauga campus or something to work and I'm bringing some papers with me, I just like to have them in something protective. Because everything that I got, but I'll show you guys some of like my favorite products. I don't even think any of my pens have writing left on them. They're all like so old, but the Pentel RSVP are my favorite pen to write with just like for notes or like in my planner and stuff. I love the Bic Brightliner Grip highlighters as well. I love Sharpie pens, but they bleed through a little. Um, these are what I use for like book annotating. They're just like cheapy pens. They work great. And then of course I have just like a ton of mild liners and whatnot. So anyways, those are like the pens and stuff I use. I just didn't need any when I was out at Walmart. I want to just clean up my office. These drawers are atrocious. I feel like I clean these like every two months because they're just like honestly the hottest mess of hot messes. And I just want to like make this area fun and something like I look forward to. This is my planner. I picked it up at Marshall's. I just liked how much room there was too. I forgot to show you guys that. But yeah, I picked that up at Marshall's a few weeks ago. 
And just like get organized. This is a newer desk and I don't think I've taken the time to like really organize it well. So yeah, we're gonna do that for a bit. We've got the whiteboard here. I just organized my drawer a little bit, um, just with like stuff that I reach for often, like my bullet journal and my planner. And then I ended up doing this drawer as all of my highlighters. <laughs> that way they're like all in one spot, not mixed in with other stuff. And then just like sticky notes and stuff. I had some clear ones, my scissors and stuff. And then my little bat mug for halloween just has all of my pens and sharpies my drawers are a little more organized now i just have like you know notebooks and stuff in this one uh this one's just a little more organized and then same thing with my electronic drawers just a little more organized i need to figure out where i'm gonna video filmed edited and uploaded and now i'm gonna change like it was cute while it lasted to be in this like cute blouse and shorts like this is a really cute little fall fit but i'm not comfy so Let's go put on some sweatpants. <laughs> Literally changed into pajamas in the middle of the day. Like, if you know, you know. This is the vibe. <sighs> but this is like... Oh, yeah. This is like next level comf. 10 on 10. I am ready. There's just like something about, I don't know, an oversized shirt. I just feel like I can tackle the world. Some people might say that about being dressed up. But for me, it's really an oversized shirt. I have to be careful with this desk because it's a standing desk. And if you just like touch it real quick, it just starts to move <laughs> so my plan for today maybe let's write on our little new whiteboard that could be fun okay i'm literally gonna put my to-do list on my little whiteboard i i love this this is like so convenient i'm a very visual person so i kind of love this so let's log on to brightspace which is the platform that my school uses i forgot that for some reason i don't know if it's like this for undergrad students at tmu but I don't have a physical course outline. They almost like put it on, I can kind of show you guys actually. Like, I can show you this, right? Why not? Basically, it's just like this website of all the stuff. And so that's interesting. So what I need to do is maybe I'm gonna write down on a sticky note the like important deadlines and then that way I can reference that. Or should I just download this? I almost wanna like download this, but like in a better way. I don't know, but I'm gonna actually, my new ones, we'll do pink, and I'll grab a pen, and I'll just write down, like, anything important. I think that's a good idea. I also need to see if there's textbooks for this class. I am a hot, hot mess. I thought I'd be a lot more organized than this. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. This is, grad school is a hot mess. One of my classes has a legit course outline one of them is on the website that's annoying hey guys so for my first course this is the textbook that we need and this is how much it is just for the e-text of the earlier edition and i'm all about like saving paper and stuff but 50 dollars for an e-text is insane so i decided to check amazon and amazon has an older edition which i don't always recommend like definitely check with the prof but this prof i know she says Students who choose to use early editions of the text may find some of the end of chapter resources may be different. So like, that's just saying like, hey, you know, I'd rather you get the 14th edition, the newest edition, but if you get the older one, that's fine. I can get it for $16, which to me is way worth it um, compared to like paying $50 for an e-textbook. So I'm gonna do that and then hopefully I will be able to sell it after. So okay, and then for my other class, it seems that this is the textbook. And then for my, just Google it first and see, oh my God, $165. That's insane. I might just not even buy this book to be honest. And then I will check Amazon and see, oh my God, five used from $95. That is a freaking joke. I'm sorry. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to do some snooping for and see if they have it as a PDF because I'm not paying $165. I would literally rather get a B in the class than do that. 
this is something new I'm doing this semester, but for some reason our grad school like works in weeks, which is really confusing. Like profs will just post like, oh, assignment due week five. And you're like, when the heck is that? So I decided to write on sticky notes, which I think I might have to tape these down. Um, just like the weeks of the classes. That way if I'm like, see that an assignment is due week six, I can kind of just see really quick because I struggled with this a ton last semester. So I think this is a really good way to do it. And I didn't want to stick anything on my new computer. So I just have the sticky notes on my little to-do list area and I think that's a really really smart idea I did this check and now I'm basically going to make what I call my master list and the biggest game changer for me for just like balancing deadlines and especially if you guys are like full-time students in like five classes like I don't know how I used to do it honestly but I basically will make one giant master list in a word document with all of my due dates and then i'll take that master list and make sure it matches up into google calendar and notion so that's what i'm going to do and that usually takes a while so i'm going to sit here just like some youtube videos on or something or like listen to a podcast and i'm going to format my just like master list of due dates that way i don't miss anything and then when i have that master list of due dates done then i can put them all into notion and then i'll take you guys to like my notion template but so much like calendar planning setting myself up all that kind of stuff and my coffee has literally Melted because I forgot about it, but yeah, this is like the most time-consuming part I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, but it's gonna take a while. So I will I will be back this template which I did get it from someone and I totally forget because I've had it for so long but basically this is what it looks like it's grad school and then I have my two courses here and then I have a calendar that has due dates in it and then the due dates are over here as well and then when you click on the class it has the course outline and then I still have to film these like some of these are just with what came with the gosh I can't talk some of these are the ones that came with the template so I have to go through it and add all of these in and then I love that you can have your readings right here in one spot and then yeah this will be like week one so still getting the hang of it because I obviously haven't done any readings yet but this is what the template looks like and I can link it and I'll try to figure out who I originally got it from I want to say it was a free template with notion but yeah that is what this looks like so I have done this and then this and then now all I want to do is fill in my planner I guess. Good morning everybody it's actually the next day I wanted to get a little bit more of just like grad school prep done before I start my corporate job for the day so where we left off that all I had left to do was to fill in my planner I actually did this yesterday I just need to check it off if you guys are taylor swift gal like me i wanted to share this playlist because it's amazing um and i love to have this on especially first thing in the morning if i'm like getting work done or anything so i wanted to finish off my prep with just like getting my planner ready
fold on my planner. We'll see how long this lasts. You, if you know, you know. We use planners for like a month around here and then stop using them. The only thing is I need to fix my Google Calendar because I love that it's like all aesthetic and like pinks, but it bothers me that these Google Calendar colors don't correspond to like the colors that I have here. So I either need to like, I don't know, figure something out. I have no idea, but anyways, that is that. And so September is a pretty light load, obviously, and I'm only going to fill out the month spread like when a new month starts, but I don't have too many due dates this month. I just have a academic integrity assignment and then a discussion board. And then, yeah, Mondays are my school days. They might be Fridays. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, it'll be Mondays and I just have anything like important in my calendar so far. And I tried to make a little legend, but other things that I did was print my syllabi out just to have them, especially if it's in a Word document, and just take out what you don't need. Like, this syllabus was literally 17 pages long, and I condensed it to 14 pages. But then again, I really only use my syllabi to, like, highlight when I've done readings and stuff. Like I said, just being as busy as I am, I need to have, like, the same information in six places. Like, this may seem super repetitive to you guys. This is just how I make sure that things get done. Also, I'm realizing, like, how yellow my planner is compared to the paper. Anyways, so yeah, go through because I was able to condense this to like four pages and then this one I wasn't really able to because it, like I said, it was printed off of a website, but I might go in and try and figure something out. But this one, yeah, like this one is 17 pages um, and it just has all of that and then I'll just like highlight things as they go. So that is that that's my new semester prep i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys do to get ready for a new semester but i'm so excited to start posting more grad school content and i hope you guys have a great day